Good morning, everybody. My name is Paul, and welcome back to Stories Untold. I am, like, super into this game, because I don't know why, but just the thrill of, like, it being a typing game, and then it just changes everything on you. Like, if you guys didn't watch the episode, uh, more than likely, I'll put a link to that in this, you know, video, so you guys can see it. But I suggest going to watch that before you continue to watch this, because it just changed everything. It was definitely something you didn't expect. So I was so excited to get right back into this. So why don't we just continue right on to episode two. The lab conduct. Press escape at any time to pause and get help. I could have gotten help. I feel stupid. I love this opening. This opening's so cool. I'll probably just skip it this time though, because if you've already seen the first episode, you've already went through this. So I don't see why you guys should have to sit through it again, you know? All right, where are we? Subject 12-19-86-23, new session entry. What is with 1986? We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. Hi. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian. Instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Okay. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Okay. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. That, that green light? Lastly, ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Okay. When you're ready, let's bring this back. All right, let's do it. Um, experiment. Subject J1986 mem is enclosed in solid other layers. X-ray the artifact to determine the interior design. All right, so do it. Does it M? Oh, okay. Um. Uh, X-ray number one. Require so camera. Monitor set to x-ray, so, and then charge CC86. Okay, what do I, do I touch anything? So, camera, monitor, set to x-ray, so experiment, um, x-ray, monitor, help, okay. Press the keys into the top menu to move between pages. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. Oh, okay, there we go. At the chamber, use your mouse. Okay, so manual, and then I wanted x-ray. So monitor, I need to set to x-ray, and then charge CC86. So monitor on. Is there an x-ray button? Okay, x-ray. Um, charge, I don't think that's it. Um, Tab. Go back. Um, CC86 on the x-ray device. Which one's the x-ray device? Laser. Digital signal generator. I guess this... Nope. Not that one. Turn that off. Um, is it this? No. Okay. Um, okay, so it's not that one. Um... CC86, so try 86. Wait, this one actually has C's. CC83. Ah, damn it. 86. Turn that off. Okay, C086. I don't know what that is. Okay, um, power. This has got X's on it, so maybe this is it. Alright, turn that on. Okay, good. Huh. Oh! I had to turn the camera on. Oh. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material. And no signs of activity either. Okay. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. If you are ever unsure what to do, reread the experiment. And consult the manual. Okay. guide you through the operation. Um, demonstrate the effect of laser light on the object. 
try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. So manual, and then laser. Look at number two. Okay, um, red. So 650 of those, so required apparatus. Turn on the light generator, set the monitor to Roy G. Bib. So red is 650. So I want to turn that off. Turn that off. And then 650. And do I turn the camera on? I don't think I need to have the camera on. Required apparatus. So light generator, set wavelength. And then monitor set to Roji Bib. Oh no, what am I doing? Is that right? The reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okay, what color? Uh, experiment complete. Enter. Increase laser efficiency, use the green. Okay, um, green is 510. There we go. Oh yeah, I gotta press the button. Anything? Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okay. What color? Um, blue. Manual two. Blue is 455. And then violet's 450, so. And then do it. Is that a beating Where? heart? Would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. No activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. What if I uh... push further? No, no. Nah, nah, nah. Let me do something. 450. Ah, I can't, I can't go rogue, damn it. Okay, so, test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating 250 hertz sin wave with the amplifier fire grain set to one. Okay, so 250, so turn this, this bad boy on. 250, there we go, and then set this bad boy to one. That's about one, and then I'm assuming IR. All right, um, 250 hertz, set the amplifier. Okay, let's go to the manual, and then acoustic. Oh, and then I need, now I get it. I just needed to do that. There we go. Let's see what happens. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Okay, can I change this? I don't like looking at IR. Tap. There we go. Um, go to 500 hertz sin wave and amplifier gain of 5. So go up just a tiny little bit more and then 500. I don't like that noise. <laughs> Super high pitch. Ah! Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Okay. Should we increase? the risk of damage. What about the velocity? Really? Oh, okay, let me guess. Yup. Figured time. that would happen. Okay. Alright, let's see. What's up next? Uh, switch to square wave, maintaining current 500 and gain of 5. Okay, so I just need to switch this to square. That's gonna explode. Seeing good activity on this side, seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem oh. uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. All right, screw you. Um, maintain the phi square wave and then bring up to one kilohertz watts. So this thing is so gonna explode on me. That's gonna explode. Full activity registering. We did it. What is that? 
You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. What is that? Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. What? To the protective casing is off. Proceed to the drill surface. Okay, well, off. Off. Okay, um, drill. Manual. Uh, drill. Switch drill on, ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger dynamic measure is normal to begin drill. Okay. So, turn it on. Yeah, everything else is off. Camera's on. Oh. What's gonna happen? I don't like that. I do not like that. Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Oh, do you? Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. I feel like I'm gonna die. You don't care about me. Maintain content. I'm gonna look at my safety instructions. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Do not leave the container unattended during experiment. It is extremely dangerous to handle any activity with the container. Please ensure that the next kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow any instructions exactly. Okay. Um. It's open. Um. Good experiment. Oh, I forgot. I have to click it. Hello. Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Screw you! I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. Oh, I don't really like I that. Remember. I don't like that. That light, I don't like that light. I don't know why I keep covering up my face, like, as if, like, if I covered up my face, I wouldn't get hit by the heart exploding. Okay, you can stop this now. Can I look away? Ooh, what the... Oh, screw you! You're a proxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. Am I just staring deeply into this thing's eye? Oh! I had a click. Oh, dude, I don't like that. Memory retain. Retrace. You wake up in a chiropod. Sh struggle against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact from the... You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Impact in the planet's surface has torn a hole in your space hall. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You're a grave danger. You need to get out of here. Leave. Memory action unavailable. Come in. Okay. Exit the space craft. The airlock door is clamped shut. It is controlled remotely. Open the airlock. Okay. Look. Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal adjacent to blinks. Go to computer. You are now stood next to the computer terminal. The monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks unusable. Use. Okay, um. Ah. Uh...
You tap on the screen and the airlock door splutters, sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down the silence, having spent the last of its resources. Exit shift. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Let's say the lean in. This is an alien. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see your, to see your surroundings by mangled metal. Bright light pour through every gap of the surrounding wreckage. Describing the moment we found the ship. Station, please continue. A crash site. Smoke bellows from the down ship. Exterior light flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upward, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Okay, stand up. Memory on. Okay. You don't recognize any of these star patterns above you. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away from. You move away enough of the wreckage for you carefully crawl through the lights that surrounded around you. Now attack your senses. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behold them in harmony of people, all staring. One figure steps out of silhouette and walks towards you. Go to silhouette. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. Should I? Screw you. Alright, what do you got for me? We awake. The room is silent, only for the quiet hum of equipment, occasionally machine beeps. Your touch isn't yours. We're all as one. We move together in unison. Look around. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent to the display monitor with wires draped across the room into the chest. They have tortured us. This doesn't happen. We didn't put this empty in quarantine. It expired at a crash. Memories Look when at writing. Stuck together a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Re. Read it. Symbols seem to indicate where our bodies they have cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Okay, so adjacent to the display monitors with wires draped across the room in our chest, they have tortured us. Exit room. We can't reach the door. Efficiently together, effectively tethered to the machine. <sighs> what? What do you want me to do? Think. Think. Move wires. What just happened? What's that alarm? Hey guys, this is just like the first one. We yank the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. The action sets an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent chamber. Look around. We are in a bed. Okay, exit room. Exit room. Okay, cool. I don't care. I need you to stop what you're doing, please. No, screw you. You wanted me to- You were gonna kill me. If I would've died, you wouldn't have cared. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. 
they don't know how it works, but this host does. The doors closes behind us, and the lamps clop shut. We are alone, together. Look around. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with the door and window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. The other door has an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding a small device taking from you. Your it's my our ship. Okay, um look at sheets. Okay, um look at the device. It was an access code terminal from a wide connection, allowing commanders to command the other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to the code. It's time to use them. Okay, um, okay, it was an access code terminal from a wide connection, allowing commanders to command the other hosts. Um, 18... No, it was 1986. I've it written down. <laughs> Okay, um, look around, I guess. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on the sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. On the other hand, it's in the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taken from you. It's mine. Okay, so take device. I want to take this with me. Okay, I guess I can. So go to window, because there was a window, right? Okay, all right. Go to door. Okay. Go to door with orange light. Oh, what do you want? With a door and a window on one side. Door we came through has been locked shut. And the other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding a only a small device taken from you. Go to device. Use device. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. Air case up and down. Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. No! Screw you! Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. You didn't care what would happen to me in the long run. That one to that one. That one goes to that. That one to that one. That one's right there, so... What's up? Oh, there's more of them. They're converging. It's over. Alright. Let's look into your eye, little dude. try to kill me I don't care okay guys this was just like I love this twist to it it's a bit weird that it's just like totally changed but I it still has that twist that unexpected thing that you didn't expect to happen it's just like bang right there it was and it's totally just there so I'm gonna leave that for this episode because it just makes sense to, you know, keep going, you know, one on and then the next and next and next. So, if you guys like this, like the video. Subscribe to see more videos like this because I will do a full playthrough of this game considering I'm almost done already. And I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Bye!